Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It's good to be back. Um, uh, Let's get into today's show. Um, The WBA is going to order O'Hara Davis' uh, fight with um, Rowley, the new WBA champ. Uh, I want to get into that because there's a better option which I want to discuss. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits comes out every day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Okay, guys, let's get into today's show. Let's get into it. Um, so, like I said, the WBA is going to order O'Hara Davis and with Rolly Romero for Romero's WBA belt, newly minted WBA champ. It's not uncommon uh, for the WBA to do this. Um, I actually think it's part of their protocol. Um, and I'm not opposed to Davis getting the shot. That's not the problem. Um, the problem is how the other fight ended. Uh, if, if you want to give O'Hara Davis the, 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 the fight, Davies, I'm sorry, O'Hara Davies, I keep doing that. If you want to give O'Hara Davies the um, rematch, um, if you want to give O'Hara Davies the winner, you should do that. Uh, you know, O'Hara Davies is, Davies is a good prospect. Um, I shouldn't call him a prospect. He's a contender. He, he's got a couple L's. Uh, he took a loss to Josh Taylor um, years ago, and uh, he's got another loss on his resume. Jack Catterall, I believe. Right? Um, so he's taken up two step-ups, and, and, and he's lost both of them. Um, he was competitive in the Catterall fight. He was not competitive with Josh Taylor. Um, and since then, I mean, he's got a win over Teron McKenna. Um, and then he's got the, the, the stoppage victory, the domination of Lewis Richardson just a couple months ago, but back in March, I suppose. And, and that's what's on his resume. It's not a bad resume since those two losses. And the Catterall loss, and in retrospect, is not that bad. So I don't necessarily have a problem with Howard Davies getting the title shot. Um, he could win that fight. You know, he's 31. This is really it for him. This is his shot. So I don't want him not to get O'Hara Davies. I'm going to get it right, guys. O'Hara Davies. I want to get it right. Um, so I'm not opposed to him getting the fight. But Barroso was winning that fight when it got stopped. And it didn't get stopped because he got, he got hurt. It got stopped for reasons we'll never understand. So that's the issue. The issue is it got stopped for reasons we'll never understand. That's the fact of the matter. So they should order the rematch, make it happen again, right? And look, it's very possible that Rolly was going to win that fight regardless. It really is. Rolly was rolling. <laughs> Rolly was rolling. Rolly, uh, you know, I only had him win a round or two, and, and the judges all had Barroso winning. But he was just getting it going. He had him hurt. He had him in a bit of trouble. Barroso uh, uh, survived the moment, right? He got through the moment. He got his legs back and was firing back. But he was hittable, right? Did, did Rolly find him? Did Rolly figure him out? Did Rolly get his timing down? Was Rolly going to knock him out anyway? Or was Barroso going to go back in charge? Or was it, you know, what, what were we going to get, right? Because it felt like this fight was culminating in something. And a fight we didn't expect much out of was turning into a good fight. And then it just ends out of nowhere, out of the clear blue sky. Um, that So... I think that's the only move for the WBA is it, it or the be- I mean, they're not going to do it because there's no money in Barroso. Like, let's be honest about that. So we're going to get the O'Hara Davies fight. Um, like I said, which is fine. And I'm not opposed to him getting a title shot, but it's it, it, he, Barroso should be getting the rematch. 
if there's any anything fair, anything just in the world, it would be that. And because it's a good fight. Like, going into it, we weren't expecting anything. In the rematch, I think we'd expect a good fight. And I think most people will still pick Rolly. And I think Rolly may win the fight. All right? But give Barroso his shot. And, uh, look, Davey, look, what I would do is say, okay, if I was in May, end of August, early September, you got to fight. Um, you got to make the rematch. So you got 120 days for the rematch. Whatever that puts us at. 120 days after that, so puts us, let's say, January, February. That puts us at, at the Davies fight. So in the next 240 days, um, it's gonna be, we're going to be busy. You're going to have the rematch. And whoever wins the rematch gets Davies. I think that's fair. I, I think that's reasonable. I think all party wins. I think if you told Davies, like, you're 31, you've been waiting your whole life for this title shot, you're going to get it January of 2024, he'll take it, right? I, I think it's a win. Um, I, I think that's the best move. Let me know what you guys think. Is that – do you want to see the Davies fight? I mean, are you guys interested in that? Is it intriguing to you? It doesn't – you know, I think it's a decent fight. I don't have a problem with it. It's not a great fight. It's not something I mark on my calendar, but it's a good fight. Right? Or would you rather see the rematch first? You think Barroso earned a rematch, deserves a rematch in a fair and just world, should get a rematch? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Or in a fair and just world, does O'Hara Davies, who's sitting there waiting his turn, does he deserve a shot? Let me know what y'all think. Leave, uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Teen, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is May 16th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.